Hello my lovely friends. Welcome to my channel Creative Art. I am Nilama and in today's video we are going to make this beautiful tea light candle holders to make your festive season look much more brighter and joyful. You can place them on tabletop or you can also place them on walls as I have done for the left side one by just using a two side tape. This activity can be easily done by children during this festive season as the clay is a non-toxic and it can be easily molded. So friends, please give it a try, make it yourself, enjoy your festive season as a family and do subscribe my channel friends for more creative art painting videos and do press the bell icon to grow the creative art family much more bigger, stronger and brighter. I hope you are having a nice day. So let's start the video now friends. Friends, to do this DIY, we are just going to need two things. First is Febicryl molded which is specially used for 3D work of art and second are colors. So for this DIY, I'm going to use Camel Artist Acrylic Color 010 Antique Gold Series 3 and 339 Portrait Pink Series 1. Other than that, you may need a flat hair brush and a palette. So let's start now friends. So for this, we are going to use Fevicryl Molded. This is specially for 3D work of art. In the same pack, you get hardener and softener. You don't have to buy them separately. Place one on another, then using a knife, cut the quantity you need in equal parts, okay? Like this. Keep the rest. Apply some talcum powder on your base and on your hands. Mix it. Now you're ready to mix the clay. Roll it, twist it, again roll it. Mix it properly till you see that both of these colors get converted into one color. It is very important that your color is mixed up properly and it gives you this kind of light gray color. So now the clay is finely mixed up and this is how it looks. So apply some talcum powder on the base, on the roller, place it in the center. Start flatting up the clay. Try to make it round as much as possible. Apply talcum powder each time. To turn it, clip it. Okay, I was really trying to make it round, but you know, sometimes your chapati turns out like this. Okay, even though it has not turned around exactly how I wanted it, so I'll cut a few surfaces. If you want, you can keep it. That is completely your choice. Apply some talcum powder. Smoothen the surface as smooth as possible. Flip it to the other side. And again, apply some talcum powder. I'm doing this from both the sides because I want both the sides to be smooth as much as possible. So now this is going to be my center. Place it on any small glass or anything you like. The shape or you want it to be the center. Okay. We'll let it stay there for overnight. Okay. Now I have got my shape. So I'm going to apply a little bit of talcum powder on both the surfaces in this way. Just flip it on this side. Okay, now I'm going to place it on this glass. So I'll place some talcum powder on the back everywhere. And then clip it and place it gently on the glass shape where I want it to take shape. Decide the shape before the clay gets dry. So I think this is fine. This will be the smaller piece. Let's make the bigger one. We can reuse this. Mix this. Apply some talcum powder on your base. Spread it neatly on your ball. Flatten it. Apply talcum powder on your roller also. So now the surface is flat enough. There was enough talcum powder for both the sides. If needed, apply some more to make the surfaces smooth. So now we are going to make a bigger side. So I'm going to place it 
on a back side of a cup flip it in this way press the base just a little bit this is perfect so I will let this is perfect in the same way I have made the smaller piece which we are going to fix inside the bigger piece we will let this both get dry overnight and then we can color it okay okay so now friends after 24 hours our clay has got hard enough and this is what we get okay so reverse it in this way you can either place a smaller piece inside a bigger one in this way or you can make a medium size of tea light candle holder in this way that is completely your choice the most important thing is that it should get dry and the different shapes make it look much more natural and attractive this is quite hard this is quite hard and it may last for years if you take a good care of it so now friends we are going to start the coloring part and for that i'm going to use camel artist acrylic color this is 339 portrait pink you can also use golden color First of all friends, I'm going to color the back side of a one tea light candle holder using portrait pink and I'm going to leave this one as it is because I just love the natural color of the clay which is this and in the center I will be doing golden. In the center you can also do the same portrait pink. So let's start coloring this one. Take a little bit of portrait pink color in your palette. For this one I'm going to do the back side give a very even thin layer using a flat hair brush now i will let this part get dry get a perfect portrait pink color you have to do two layers at least two layers of it This one also get dry now after the first coating has got dried up friends i'm going to apply the second coating of the same portrait pink color give a very smooth finishing touch so the second layer of this one is done and when we are going to do the bigger one it will look like this okay so now we will keep this one for dry Okay, so in the same way we have painted all of them as portrait pink from inside and this one we have painted from outside. So now friends, these all acrylic colors have got dried up. So in the same way I did my second layer and then let it get dry for a few more hours. And this is how it looks when I have done the coloring part and this time I'm going to do golden color inside. So the same way you can also do the golden color from outside. For the bigger ones, I'm going to leave this color because I love the way it looks. So to do the golden color, as I always say friends, you should do a base coating layer of any light color like white. So I'm going to give it a white color first. For now, I will let it get dry. And I'm also thinking to do the black color on the black side of this small tea light candle holders. Okay, so now I will let it get dry. Okay, the white coloring part is also completed. So now friends, I'm going to use golden color in my brush and color and place it on the white color. By doing this, the golden color looks much more brighter. So this is our friends. We'll also color the third one. So now friends, I have finally completed doing the first layer of golden paint inside the clay parts. So now I'm going to do the second layer. Okay, the second layer for this one is done. So the second layer for this one is also done. Now we will let them all get dry. And friends, to add a happy touch, I'm going to add a little bit of gold on the edges of the clay. So it will be a bit shinier. I won't be disturbing any side, neither the clay part nor the portrait pink color part. I will just be placing a little bit of gold on the edges. So I will be doing the same with all of them. Let it get dry and then show you how does it looks. Okay. So in the same way friends, I have made few more. Few are of small size, few are big size and some are medium in size. And this is how all of them look together. 
you can also place these smaller ones inside the bigger ones to give this kind of two layered look and on the back side of smaller ones i have done the golden paint that's how finally it looks you can easily place this small size tea light candles in it in the center light them and decorate it on your tables desk or any area you want in the same way friends you can also place them on wall as they are not very heavy by using a two side tape it is also called as a foam tape you have to cut a big size of it from here place it at the back side of the clay and then stick it to the wall press it very tight and it will be fixed but friends it's always recommended to be safe with fire so the most efficient way would be to place it on a table and i completely love the natural look of clay from the back side even and each one is of different shape but i love each one of them because they have come out very beautifully especially the golden edges of this portrait pink color tea light candle holders look amazing so now friends i'm going to decorate them for you so friends this is how beautiful our tea light candle holders look when i have lit tea light candles inside it friends i hope you're enjoying my video as this was a very easy and simple diy process for the festive look so friends please tell me in the comments below how would you like to decorate this festive season and friends if you do like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel thank you for watching